Now here in Microsoft Visio, if you scroll down, you have several different items available to you from different categories. And one of them is Crow's Foot Database Notation. It is probably in the third row. If, if you look at the top, you will see some categories, network, flowchart, software, education, if I go under software, these are the different templates specifically designed for software. Anyway, for now, we will be choosing Crow's Foot Database Notation. And then you will click Create. On the left hand side, you see Entity. You can drag and drop an entity here. If you want, you can zoom in in the bottom right corner. You have a plus sign to zoom in and zoom out. So you can zoom in like this. So I have my entity here. If you double click where it says entity name, it lets you give it a name. For example, I want to call this one order. That's the name of my entity. When you're done, you can simply click outside. And that finalizes the name. Let me zoom in more. It's a little bit more readable for everybody. Then where it says attribute name, I'll gonna double click again. I'll type order ID. And again, I'll click outside, it finalizes the name. Under the attribute name, down below in the regular section, I'll have order date. So I have order ID, order date. And the third one, just press delete, click on it, and press the delete key on the keyboard. Now let me grab another entity next to it. Again, the same process. I double click on the entity name. I'll call this one order item. The primary key for this one will be a primary key as well as a foreign key because I want to have a strong relationship, right? So this will be order ID. And I'll have one attribute called quantity. And again, I want to delete the third entity. <laughs> if I right click on the order item, notice at the top, it has the set primary key checked. And notice it also has a set foreign key as another option, right? Also click on that. And that's how you can make the same field primary key as well as foreign key. Okay, now the next thing is I want to establish the relationship. So on the left hand side, you see a relationship. Drag that on. And then okay, this is actually what I want to do to be on the proper. Okay, so I, I basically want the one on one relationship from order. So notice this particular guy over here has the crow foot symbol on one side and one to one relationship on the other. So I have to make sure that the correct one goes on the correct side. So as you can see, it's one on one relationship on this side and zero to many relationship on the other side. If I double click on this line, 
it lets me type. So I can type order contains order items slash placed. So that's a text that can go. So if I'm reading from order items, the order items are placed and order contains. So all I had to do was double click on the line. Now I'm right clicking on order date and I'm clicking on set required. So it becomes bold. And I'll repeat the same thing on the primary key and that also becomes bold. So anywhere I right click and click on set required, it just bolds the text. I also have an other options of format shape, making it italics, you know, all of these options are available. Other styles I could use. You know, I mean, I have several different options to choose from. Or if I want to customize, I could also do it. So, I mean, again, you have uh, access to pretty much anything and everything that you would have access to um, in Microsoft Word environment or PowerPoint. So that's how you can be creating extremely complicated diagrams or simple diagrams is totally up to you.